Hi y'all, welcome back to Sunshine Hollow. I'm a little emotional as I just finished editing the video of baby Cleo's birth. Um, truly one of the most magical moments of my life thus far. I've seen lots of little puppies be born. I've seen baby goats be born before. I actually walked in minutes before um, Java and her twin sister were born um, back when they belonged to my sister-in-law. Um, so I've seen birth before, but it's kind of different when it's your first baby goat born on your farm. Um, I will always cherish these moments and um, thanks to my mom for being there. She had never seen a birth um, and was really excited to be there for um, the birth of baby Cleo. We didn't know it was Cleo yet, but um, so I gave her a call when Java started to go into labor. It was a Sunday morning, the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Uh, I had been waiting months for this goat to give birth because um, I wasn't exactly sure when she was bred. So um, I gave my mom a call and my mom was able to come on over and she filmed the whole thing. Um, and I just got to be present for the birth and not worry about any sort of social media silliness. Um, so that was really joyful and uh, just an amazing experience. So please enjoy. Um, and hopefully one day you'll get to experience something like this yourselves.
To end, I just want to speak a little on this um, kidding experience, this being my first all alone. Um, if you're kidding in the coldest season, which I definitely didn't mean to do, but ended up kidding in, in the coldest season, um, fall transitioning into winter, um, you really should be there for the birth. Um, just to dry off the babies if they're, um, you know, they come out soaking wet with afterbirth. Um, so, and it's very like mucusy and clingy. So the goats are, you know, they're going to stay wet unless you help dry them off. That's what um, Java's doing in the video. Instinct is for the moms to lick them off and clean them off. Um, and I was really shocked that Java did as well. Java was not supposed to be bred She's only a year and a half old. She's a baby herself, um, but she hopped the fence and there was nothing I could do at that point. So um, she definitely got pregnant and ended up kidding. And um, really you can breed goats um, up to a year when they're a year old, but I would have rather waited at least two years. Um, anyway, it was very cold out and I was so glad, I was so worried and had been staying up every night for weeks um, just wanting to be there and um, you know I would just blame myself so thoroughly if anything happened so I was so fortunate that I got to be there for the birth and it was on a Sunday um, but there were a few things that I would have changed for sure I was super nervous um, and would have definitely been more hands-off and next time definitely will be. I was really nervous because Java was so little um, and I could really tell there was only one baby in there and when there's one baby and a little goat, it's probably going to be fairly large. So I was really nervous that Java was going to get hurt um, during her labor and Java was the most important thing to me. Um, at that point, whether the baby lived or not was secondary to Java. Um, so I would have definitely stayed out of the way a little more and let Java do her thing. Her and I have a really amazing bond, so it didn't, I don't think it bothered her that I was there. Um, but I definitely would have let her be more hands-on, or I would have been less hands-on in the experience and let her really do it herself. Um, and that also... Um, being said, I was glad I was there to wipe mucus off her face and dry her off. We have a hair dryer going um, in a lot of the videos there just to really get her warmed up and cleaned off because it was really chilly that day. Um, so I'm glad I was there, but in hindsight, next time I will definitely be more hands off. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to update you on Cleo and how she turns into a beautiful doe. I was so excited. My first baby goat on my farm is a doe. That is so fortunate and she's oh so beautiful. So I can't wait to um, update you as she grows and changes. So thanks again for watching and uh, don't be shy.